for the workflows on the other hand, I do them here. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove here, which by the way is the only option that you can also create it, it's just here. And now we're gonna create a workflow. The workflow, you need to create it before you start doing it because it's a lot easier to organize it, a lot easier to embed it and set it up, and then a lot easier to not screw it up, okay? So now I would really, really recommend you uh, to write down the sequence. Like you have the funnel steps, and then once something happens here, then you go ahead and you add an automation, and then they go here. Once something happens here, you add them in an automation. If something happens here, you remove them from this automation. So you have all these different things that you want to line up because the deeper you go into marketing, the, the more variables you have, and you need to make sure that those are set up like perfectly. So, but in this case, let's simplify these things, okay? Automations, workflows. Let's say that someone opted in and want to send a couple of emails and all that stuff. So let's go create, and now let's go ahead and name it ebook. So make sure that the workflows that you have, they are very specific to the actions they're gonna take. So for example, tag ebook, provide lead, or provide lead magnet, something like that. Now here on the right side, you have activate, settings, exit, uh, edit and remove. So if you go to settings, not a lot of things to change, as you can see. And then you can go ahead and activate if you want to activate it, or you can go ahead and edit out. So if you click edit, now you can see the entire structure of how it go. Let me share with you how to build a very simple workflow. The first thing is what is going to trigger that workflow. And what I mean by trigger is when something happens, you want to the entire workflow here to start moving. Okay. When you press the button, something needs to, to, to happen. So let's say that, you know, um, like there was a purchase made, right? So someone made a purchase, new sale, and you want to say where the sale came from. So for example, let's say the sales page the sale came from here. So one sale, happened in this funnel and now what do you want to do after you have an action a decision and a delay usually i want to go for an action and now here i want to add for example a tag and the tag can be whatever tag you want so in this case here you can you, you cannot really create a tag you can just select pre-existing tags okay so if you want to create a tag make sure that you go to your contacts tags and create them there now after you have this then you go ahead and you can make a decision if you want to do a split test uh, uh, split decision. So, for example, um, email clicked, um, grab this offer, or this is awesome, or email setting. So, this is the the emails they clicked on this email, okay, or something else. So, this is like a, a, a split kind of thing. If this happened or this happened, then you you have a decision to make. But as I mentioned, let's go ahead and simplify this. So now here we can go ahead and delay. We can delay it for hours, days, or minutes. We can go ahead and say let's wait for you know, one day. So one day create done we're going to be waiting one day and then we're going to send another email so action and then say i'm going to send an email okay so send an email right there so we're going to send an email we need to select the, the, the email that we want if we don't have the right email click here and then we are going to create an email and we allows us to create the email right here so awesome save and edit email so now we're now going to have a pop-up where we have the email so this is the email make sure that you you add your your email right there and then you save done and now this is the email that we're going to send okay great now for the delay already talked about it for the decision basically you want to make a decision usually it's if they got a specific tag or if they made a specific purchase or if they clicked on a specific email then you're going to go ahead and do one path if they have not done that then you do a different path so let's say that in this email, I want them to click on a specific link, right? So you could go ahead, you go ahead and create decision, choose a filter, and then um, you can go ahead and email clicked, which is gonna be the, the awesome, I think it's this one, awesome, add a condition, and then let's say tag or contact fields. In this case, I'm, I don't really want to do that. So let's remove the condition or uh, something else happened. You can do something else happen. So let's say the link was clicked, right? Awesome, create. And now if the link was clicked, now what we're gonna do is gonna send something else, okay? We're gonna say action, uh, for example, we apply a tag and whatever the tag is, there you go. If they didn't, what you can do is you can send an email. So action, and then you can send another email. And then we select the awesome email again and choose. So basically, he's going to do that over and over and over, basically. So if they didn't click, hey, here's another chance for you to do that. 
and then you can go ahead and you can you can basically do the exact same thing again so add again decision if email this is awesome was clicked then you do that you know over and over and over if you want to do that like, give like three chances for them to do that okay so this thing is it's going to be limited it's not going to be compared to any active campaign or so or go high level it's limited but it allows you to do very simple things so that you don't get a lot of tens of errors so it's mainly what you guys are looking for like if you are using system you want a powerful tool that is powerful enough to make you six seven figures a year but doesn't allow doesn't need you to have like a full team working on that stuff right it's not really technical it's very very simple so you you, you kind of want to just understand the 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 things that like how they work and then make it very very simple so when you are creating an an automation just like this one like a workflow this is exactly what you do you want to understand how it happens and how it starts and what you're going to do later so you're going to go ahead and every single step of the way you're going to go ahead and make sure that that happens i might have a video later on in this course where i talk about if you have like a digital course how to do it if you have a um i don't know like a, a application funnel how to do it and all that stuff okay so um if you're interested in that make sure that you you check the other videos okay so that's pretty much about it and right now it is paused so let's go ahead and exit and when we do this this here is inactive so if you want to active you activate it you go ahead and activate yes it is let's activate and there you go so this workflow is going to get triggered when someone makes a purchase in the sales page that's it that's that simple if you want to add a different trigger to activate the exact same one you can go ahead and do whatever the options you have here okay so i mean simplify things play around with the automations try to get to your main goals uh discover different strategies of what you can what you can do in digital courses and application funnels and all that stuff so that you make sure that you have a very good stand you know and and, and powerful back-end system